So Addressable Creative is really creative that is meant to speak to someone in a way that resonates. The idea is taking your normal creative platform and being able to tailor it in such a way that it speaks to an audience that drives relevancy and, again, resonance. I think the term addressable has been around for a decent amount of time, and I think it, it, it comes from the beginning points of programmatic, where real-time bidding allowed us to be able to now identify audiences versus just inventory and how to find consumers and how to target them and serve them messaging. Addressable creative, it's really been about how we create resonance with our audiences using the things like purchase behavior data, demographic data, their interests like fashion, food, cooking, what have you, and really allowing us to tailor that messaging. Similar to any kind of digital campaign where we see addressable used a lot, it really takes into account the entire marketing ecosystem. So thinking about technologies like CRM, technologies like demand side platforms or DMPs, and really I think what's most synonymous with addressable creative tends to be dynamic ad servers, which are what really allow for that personalized creative or that resonant creative to actually go to a place where it can scale and has kind of the speed of media. And then of course, real world data signals are extremely important. Things like the weather, things like the time of day, things like strategic sales periods for certain brands. Those types of data sets are all what inform the brief that goes to a creative who then have to make all the different copy points and identify the different imagery and the different communication territories we really wanna put out into the consumer market. You have to think about addressable creative as more of a philosophy or an approach because you can apply addressability to you know, your media, that's where you hear about addressable TV or even things like addressable audiences, but you can apply it to your content like we've been talking about. And it can be applied to digital channels where you have mobile desktop display, it can be attributed to things like over the top or connected TV or digital out of home. But in reality, it can be applied to print as well. We've worked in situations with publishers that we have demographic information about the subscriber as well as their purchase behavior from third-party data sources. And we've been able to marry that together to make sure that the ad we put in a print magazine is actually more relevant to them. So I think when you think about platforms and channels, you have to think about the full array and really treat uh, addressable creative as omni-channel and more audience first. A recent addressable creative campaign that we did was actually for our Shark Ninja client. What we were able to do was create 63 unique ad spots that were in across different publishers on connected TV. And what we saw was uh, really were fantastic results on brand consideration with lifts over 15%, as well as uh, time earned, which were uh, basically people spending more time with the ad and the creative for about upwards of 60, 61%. So I think the reason addressable creative is being brought up more and more and the industry is paying more attention to it is really about the fact that we really as brand marketers need to drive that breakthrough. It's it's really hard to outshout or outspend competition, especially in a world where people are consuming content and interacting with brands on their own time now. The world used to be a lot simpler when it came to media and creative. It was a television commercial, some print advertisement, and maybe a digital extension. Now it's about 85% of non-traditional media that an audience or a person is on their phone or they're on their connected TV and watching whatever they want, doing whatever they want, when they want. And so for us to really lean into the idea of a consumer mindset and meeting them where they are really just drives more authenticity for a brand. And then if you're able to, as a brand, give a message that is, again, more relevant or more valuable to that consumer, the likelihood of them caring about it is significantly better than a general message or even serving an ad to a person that doesn't qualify for your product or your service. So it's important to think about it from the perspective of the audience, and it's important to think about the audience is non-linear anymore, and more about the dynamics of when a person is on digital, where they are, and meeting them there.